have to do something with my life. Yeah, it is still Kirak Art. If it was really making such a big difference, you would see the 50% of the guys that use it go winning every single thing yeah. and the others go completely nowhere. Off-season weight and in-season weight can be anything from 62 until 56. Yeah, I can really, I can really see the difference between race weight and off-season. Why are you leaving the back door? I'm a bit late. But you're always late. Yes, I am. Meeting up with a friend, doing a bit of a short film and a vlog. Good luck. See you later, Mandy. You're riding with that big camera. I'm taking this camera with. So today I've got this big camera on my back. Making a short fall. As you have a tall fish, you feel your arm, right? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. Like, this is a nice spot, can't stop you, so. What like you most of Andorra? Ah, it's like the bergen. Hardest climb in Andorra. Yeah, it must be this way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why? You do most of your intervals here, what? Yeah, sometimes. Quite close to home, so easy to start with, easy to finish with. What about the other one? What? Yeah, Kostal's. Opposite is Ordina, it's quite hard, I think yeah. that's. Probably a bit longer, a bit steeper. <laughs> Goes up to a high altitude. Oh, so. but it's not the hardest climb because you never go there. I have the Strava. Hey, just cast a check And I'm about to blow it all on chocolate Yeah, I'm about to blow it all on chocolate Sweet tooth, baby, make that dollar stretch Yo, 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 yo Chocolate, yo, 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 yo Chocolate, yo, 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 yo Chocolate, yo I'm 27 years old the BMC and I'm from South Africa in Rustenburg. <laughs> Your off-season racing weight and in-season racing weight. There, there, there goes all your fans. Yeah, <laughs> off-season weight and in-season weight can be anything from 62 until 56. But obviously for a smaller rider, 6 kilograms is percentage-wise much bigger than... Yeah, so I guess. going from 80 to 71 kilos. Yeah. So uh, I think it's good and bad. In wet weather, it's definitely an improvement. I mean, I think it's not. Some brands might be a little bit better than others, but yeah, I think uh, there's still some room for improvement. <laughs> probably in about two or three years' time, all the bikes will probably be at about six point eight kilograms. So yeah, I think this brake is probably going to be the future, but at the moment, there's. I, well, yeah, at the moment, I think it's not. Some brands might be a little bit better than others, but yeah, I think uh, there's still some room for improvement. <laughs> yeah, probably uh, Olympics was a really special, okay. special result. So, and yeah. Tour de France, 20, what is that, 2015, went quite well? Yeah, so what... Oh, you what, got close to the white jersey. Yeah, I got second in the white yeah. jersey. And overall? Uh, eight. Eight. Yeah, so I was, I've been sec second in the white jersey twice, and, or, and eight in the tour twice. Yeah. Second twice and yeah. eight twice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. so got the exact yeah. same result the year uh, no. yeah, yeah. yeah. uh, That's a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say is the biggest thing, except money, that keeps you motivated to keep on training hard? I have to do something with my life. <laughs> you have to, yeah. <laughs> you have to have a goal or something to strive for, otherwise, it's. I guess life would just be pretty boring. Yeah, I guess if it wasn't, yeah, you have to choose something. I don't know, I don't think there's any, like, there's so many different opinions and always the science is, got, like, almost contradicting because it's like, yeah, now one thing is proven and then a few months later something completely the opposite is proven, so 
I don't think there's one one thing that is specifically good or bad. I think like whatever works or whatever you feel comfortable with, what you like more is the better. Except eating too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, anything in moderation. Yeah, like uh, it's almost like also used as like an unknown thing. It's like yeah, if, if you think everyone else is using something that makes them unbeatable, then they're yeah. they've got like a mental advantage over you <laughs> no yeah, but true. yeah they have some science and stuff but also again that is there's some studies that show it really works and then there's others that show it doesn't and i think if it was really making such a big difference you would see the 50 percent of the guys that use it go winning every single yeah. thing and the others go completely nowhere so maybe can help you if you use it in the correct way but <laughs> eat less train more <laughs> <laughs> good pizza and beer is always yeah. what would be your favorite meal and drink that you're allowed to kind of treat yourself with yeah well at the tour you can get away with quite a lot because yeah. you're you, yeah racing so much you can pretty much eat anything so. Yeah. sometimes like the healthy food tastes better than McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I wouldn't really say McDo McDonald's is a treat. <laughs> you're South African. You living in Andorra now. Yeah. Why did you choose Andorra? Because before you lived in Luca. Yeah. And obviously, I think from what I've seen, you prefer Andorra. Yeah, I, I really like it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the the main reason was uh, just to get a permit to actually stay in Europe. How difficult is a training in winter? I don't know. I think it. Because you're a small guy, you get yeah. easier. You, you kind of get used to it, like you, know, you get some extra clothing and stuff. And it's, I actually think like if you look at the weather reports, it's worse than what it actually feels like. I've been here in February already and doing 90% of my training outdoors. It's cold, but yeah, well, normally it didn't go far below zero. So, okay. yeah, but, still, but it stays, it's not yeah. like South Africa where it, in the mornings it's minus two and then it goes up to yeah, 25. Yeah. You wait for the best part of the day and then you finish oh, yeah. the day with like maybe two or three degrees average for the day. <laughs> Off season hobby is doing as little as possible. Okay. <laughs> Who's your pick to win the Tour de France? I don't, yeah, I don't know actually. Hola. Yeah, Team Sky has probably got the strongest team. Yeah, so, so they will find a way to make one of their leaders. Sometimes you see the really big sprinters survive with you over a climb and a really hard stage and that can crack you sometimes. Yeah, does it, does it get to you sometimes? Yeah, sometimes it's pretty hard uh, to see like some real big guys that you would normally think would be suffering on a day like today and they're still yeah. sitting there comfortably so yeah it plays with your mind a bit yeah it actually well it doesn't change so much like some of my best powers i did in the last week of the oh, tour yeah, okay. so it's not that it drops no i think no more like yes yeah, it's, it's most like 6.3 and 6.4 yeah yeah i really think it works for me so uh, there's some guys that really think it helps and others that really yeah, yeah. think it doesn't but it seems to work for me i think it's how long the seasons are sometimes and yeah because you just, really start training hard in you, november yeah then to the tour and you just stop and then you have to get ready for the next and then yeah the next and then the next so and it always feels like there's not enough time in between to prepare for the whatever is coming. If you never were a cyclist, what do you think you would have been? Probably uh, gone to uni, studied something, got a normal job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the bar. <laughs> yeah, I say the camp then. <laughs> yeah, Achilles must be one of the yeah the more famous. It's a really nice climb to go up and see the view. So. Yeah, I think it probably has just because it's given me so many opportunities to to see same, so many different things and all the different cultures there's. Yeah. You can see how really different people grew up and yeah. how they live. It's real, it's, well, it's something you have to get used to, I think, especially as a pro cyclist. Too. Different teammates. Yeah, yeah, to learn how to tolerate yeah. like different things. like. Because you realize you must be annoying them as well. You can all work 
together nicely if everyone is just a little bit lenient and understands that the other person thinks and reacts differently. Yeah. Craziest guy in, in your team? Must probably, both must probably go to Reynolds. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite funny. Uh, Ryan Gibbons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ryan. Yeah. Thumbs up, mate. <laughs> oh, our bus actually doesn't have so much. Not. Yeah, not so much. You tell our rice cakes. <laughs> no, I normally they hide them until we arrive at the... <laughs> okay, so they're quite strict. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not so easy to access the... Break your rest in California. Yeah. After already having a setback before that. What would you say is a better thing to break? Your collarbone or your wrist? Yeah. broken my collarbone before, but yeah, it was a pretty quick recovery. So okay. this has been quite frustrating, having to wait. Yeah, so have, yeah, having to wait so long before I can uh, get back to racing. So <laughs> I prefer nothing. But, nothing yeah. Yeah. What's the hardest part of not being able to use your hand? Yeah, opening a bottle. You can't hold uh, both ends. You had yeah. to put it down on the floor and hold it with my feet and turn with my <laughs> Hold it with your feet. Yeah. Okay. How close is the current car you have to your car of your dreams? Well, I'm not really a car guy, so this is pretty much the car. Much yeah, right. it, gets, it gets me from A to B <laughs> with so the air conditioning. <laughs> What car do you have? I have a Mini Countryman. Maximum? Uh, probably not more than five. Wine or beer? Probably beer. beer. I prefer rice cakes, but for the taste and the eating. But yeah, probably in the races I use more gels. Than... So rice, ca rice cakes in the first, let's say, hour or two of the race and then yeah. go over to gels. Yeah. Because it's digest faster, quicker. Yeah. For the... yeah, the hardest day must have probably been uh, when I stopped my first Tour de France, I got sick, but I still managed to finish the stage, but I couldn't start the next day, but it yeah. was agonizing trying to finish the stage. Yeah, I was doing most of the stage riding by myself with just the ambulance behind me. I don't so know. Once you know, they're pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, they're not bad. <laughs> so, do you prefer the bigger lenses, which is easier on the eyes or smaller lenses? Yeah, I don't I don't really care the size as long as I don't see the frame. So it either has to be so big that I don't see the frame, the, the frame or it has to be smaller but the frame or it has to be without a frame. Because the frame can be a bit distracting. <laughs> yeah, I, like. I don't like to look to the side and be looking into my glasses. <laughs> uh, climbing helmet or aero helmet? I use the aero helmet quite a lot. Racing suit or Burbank short separately? I prefer bourbon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Super high, medium, or low? Yeah, just normal. Normal. <laughs> yeah. Medium. Okay. Uh, no. Probably December. December. Yeah, everyone's holiday. yeah, everyone's going on holiday. But all pref all water riders still train a lot still in December. Yeah. But it, it's that vibe. Yeah. No pressure yet. Yeah. Type of thing. Yeah, probably two hours. Two yeah. hours. Yeah. What uh, happened? I ran out of. Uh, Tubes oh. and um, no one to pick you up. No, no. First, I had no one to pick me up, and uh, luckily I wasn't far from a bike shop, but they were on their siesta, so I had to sit there and wait until they re reopened the bike shop. Taken a wrong turn in a South African race before. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, but the biggest reason did you continue going hard, or did yeah. you know you took the wrong turn? No, I didn't. I didn't realize until like. I don't know, I've been thinking about that a lot and like for a real long time I was sure I would return to South Africa but yeah, I'm getting used to life here as well so Yeah, yeah. it's not bad, Andorra's Yeah, so maybe Andorra's a possibility South Africa has become quite dangerous for cyclists <laughs> over the last couple of years exponentially Do you feel it's become more dangerous? I'm lucky in, in Rustenburg it's not so bad where I spend a lot of time but yeah it's definitely I feel scared once I return back to South Africa. Before we leave you're showing me something interesting that these Jira helmets is like two in one where uh, it moves quite a bit. So then you have for extra protection so such yeah, a fall is down. For a concussion good so that as you your head on your head and your head on 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 your head on
it's, it's yeah. like preventing concussions. Yeah, I think. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. No riding. So obviously the high mountain bike islands. Okay, my Louis coffee shop interview rides done. Uh, and we're heading back. Yeah, okay. Hey, just cast the check, and I'm about to blow it all on chocolate. Yeah, I'm about to blow it all on chocolate. Sweet tooth, baby, make that dollar stretch. Yo, 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 chocolate. Yo, 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 chocolate. Yo. I say the foot crossings in Andorra really makes it quite safe eh, for pe pedestrians yeah. and less safe for fast, fast cyclists. <laughs> Thank you.